So I'm going to be going over how to set up a VPN on the iPhone 13. Now, VPNs are awesome and they're good for three main things. They make you anonymous when you're browsing, you get more privacy and security, and then of course you can access restricted websites not available in your country. Now, if you go to the App Store and look for a VPN, there are a lot of free ones, but I will warn you, most of them disconnect when you're using them and they're just filled with ads. And the whole point of a VPN is that you need it to stay connected while you're doing things. Now, the one I'm gonna be showing you, I've been using for the last three years. I know it's pretty crazy. I'm actually on the monthly plan for it. So it is a paid VPN, but for iOS, it's the best out there. It's NordVPN. Now, before I log into my account, I just wanted to pull up their website. What's crazy is they've got over 5,000 servers worldwide. So, you know, if you need to connect to a specific area or country, it's probably going to be on here. They also have military grade encryption. They've got a tunneling feature and it's awesome. But really the reason I like them, guys, is because the app is super user friendly. If you've never used a VPN before, you'll figure it out probably in less than a couple of minutes. Now, here it is, this is what it looks like. It's got a built-in map feature and you can search by countries, you can search by states within the United States and there's a bunch of other things. Now, I'm gonna do a quick connection on here. We're gonna go with Australia and when you connect, it takes you to the map on here and then it lights up green at the top, right? So when it lights up green, that lets you know you're connected. It also pulls up the connection time, which is cool. And I'm actually gonna clear this out. I'm gonna reopen Nord and you're gonna see that it stayed connected. Connected. And that's one of the biggest issues with the free VPNs in the App Store. Now, if you guys did want to check out Nord, definitely recommend them. I'll have some uh, bonus sign up and resource links in both the description and comments. But I do want to connect to a couple different areas. I think the next one we'll go with here is Canada. Now, when you connect to a specific country, it's going to use the fastest server available. But if you wanted to search for different areas, uh, you know, you could do that as well. But it's always going to connect you to the fastest option. Then I'm going to disconnect and let's just kind of go through some of the different places you can connect. But I think they've got they've got a, a, so many different countries on here. I mean, you got like China, Japan, Canada. We just did Mexico, Brazil. Then if we scroll down, I think they've got like the United Kingdom, the UK. I think maybe we'll go with that and connect. And uh, yeah, these connection times are super fast. Literally within like less than five seconds, it connects to wherever you need to go. Okay, anyways, guys, that's really it. You know, bottom line, any iPhone you're currently using or anything on iOS, Nord is awesome. Like I said, I've been using them for like three years and it's, uh, you know, I continue to use them. All right, thanks for watching this, guys. Tap that like button if you haven't. Subscribe if you haven't. And we'll see you in the next video.